and 396 for diesel and that is down significantly since my last report on the fuel so we're all very excited about that um, but we have three projects that are out for bid and one that is close um, the first is the Griner property park um, the LAS maintenance shop and then a process that is the rehab of some manholes uh, for utilities those projects are currently out for bid then the pump set station for second harvest is nearly ready for bid um, there in, in doing some research there the property that second harvest is going to build on near the interstate for their new uh, location there was an old land swap between a property owner and the county for some right away and a part of that was that the county would put in a pump set station if the property ever developed so um, that that card has been called and so we will be bidding that out um, in anticipation of the logistics officer position and the remodeling of the second floor for uh, permits and inspections the fire marshal um, mission is moving to the third floor so we are out of room at station 10 which chief green's in the back um, we are I think that we're all morning having to move the fire marshal and the inspectors out of the fire department. They are an integral uh, part of Chief Green's team, but the logistics officers got to, to move in, so you all will see um, the fire marshal and two inspectors on the finance side of the third floor, uh, some in, and maybe in your conference room for a little plan review. And then they will move downstairs as soon as that remodel is complete. Um, the end of last week, um, I toured the Bema station with South Georgia Medical Center EMS. They are moving in this week. If you all remember, we had a supplies project there that rebuilt the fire side and then we remodeled the, EM, the old fire side for EMS. So they are moving in now um, and they have approved that footprint and would like for you all to consider um, the same co-location for the new station at North Lounge. So with your blessing, we'll move forward with that in that bid. Um, we are also working on expanding probation in Leela Ellis since Hall Point has moved out. There's a remodel there and some preparation for um, Ms. Roundtree and her staff. And then the following that, we will start to remodel the old DOT building to move the coroner in. Um, you may have noticed on the Grider property that the old office that the coroner was in is gone. He is temporarily located at the sheriff's office. Um, but we will remodel the, the old DOT building so he'll still be on the law enforcement campus but in his own space. And with that, we are pursuing some funding options that we'll come back to you with for some cooler space. Currently, the county's paying a fair amount for storage um, whenever we have someone that's deceased that cannot stay at the hospital or at a funeral home. And we need to, to measure and compare the cost of putting in our own coolers um, for temporary storage for the coroner. Um, Ms. Cummins and her team, and through what uh, Ms. Barwick has, has worked on advertising, has resulted in our citizens bringing 5,175 tires in um, for this round of scrap tire grant. That means that those things are not in our waterways, on our roadways, or in everyone's yard breeding mosquitoes, hence the issue and the relief for the mosquito control contract um, testing there. Um, <clears throat> the last thing that I have for you, and, and we have a short presentation, Chairman, if you would let us humor um, you there. Since January, Public Works has collected 4,514 bags of trash on our roadways. And if you drive through the county, it's beautiful. Robin, they are doing a fantastic job. They're staying ahead of the mowers. Um, it looks really good. Um, we are getting zero complaints from citizens where that's concerned. Um, this morning, the chairman and I met with the litter crew at Public Works, and we had a presentation for them. Um, among you all, um, we all have our passions as it relates to our services, and one of you has a significant passion where litter control and the cleanliness of our roadways is concerned. So, <clears throat> Commissioner Weisenbaker, we presented the litter crew this morning um, with shirts to help them with the sun and so that they don't get run over. So we would like to make you an honorary member of our litter crew and present you with a shirt as well. And thank you for keeping us informed. An honorary doesn't mean that you can't pick up trash. Oh, I was wondering about that. <laughs> Y'all know he's too old to be wandering around the side of the house. That's okay. As long as he keeps driving and calling, you're good to go. Thank you. Good job. Thank you for your passion because it has meant a lot. Uh, as just as far as just getting all of this started, it's extremely important in our community that we do keep our roadways as clean as we possibly can. 
um, not just for the visitors, but for the citizens that live here. So again, it's something that I was very, very proud of once we stood that up and once it got started. I get calls all the time from people that, that lived on a road that sees that litter crew that just calling and thanking us for thanking me for the fact that we have that litter crew picking up trash. So it's a good thing. That concludes my report. Good job. Okay. All right, commissioners, any questions?